it's a it's a long ride. Okay. So, but I imagine it's where do you go into? They go into Port Charlotte. It goes into Port Port Allen. Yeah, but I imagine that's a really, really spectacular view, though, the whole time. When you come into Isla, uh, that from that on that route, you see Lafroy, Ardbeg, and uh-huh. Lagavulin's story. Uh, stop it's it. just oh, disgusting. Stop it. It's amazing. Stop it, Ms. You know what? Shut up. Let's drink our whiskey. Now you can't. Right. Unfor- now, interestingly, oh, to me, gloat, gloat away. Kill, gloat, away. gloat away. Kilhoven on. on the other side of the island, right? It's on the mm. back side. So we're the, I guess that'd be the west side, I suppose. Okay. All right. We've digressed a lot here. So let's go back Shock. to Kilhoven. Kilhoven. Let's go back. So this is the Makir Bay Cast. Is that how you say it? Yes. Makir Bay Cast Strength. Meet the P. 56.6% ABV. It's got a five. It's got a word Pete in it. It's a Kilhoven. It's a Makir Bay. It has yet to disappoint me. Let's see what Meet the Pete is all about. So I don't even know what this is. I mean, I know Makir Bay. I, and I've had cast strength Makir Bay, but I don't know. What's this Meet the Pete thing? I don't know. I have no, no. idea. I got nothing. All right, I got just nothing. checking. You I have got no, nothing. Uh, no intimate details of the... I got nothing. Not... I, got a little, I got a little package of whiskey in the mail. And I thank our fine friends at Impex for sending it. I'm not complaining. Here, too. And, and, you know, we got a little whiskey, and I said, sure, we'll give it a try. You, you don't know? say no. Oh, hell no. Why would I say no? You said hell you don't no. Know where you... I said hell no to you. Hell no. <laughs> hell no, we won't go. Hell, hell no, no, yes. we won't it's go. It's more like, hell yes, I will drink it. But, <laughs> but seriously, I mean, most of the The thing is, you just don't know. You don't want to say, you don't want that door to slam in your face. You go through a door, you see what happens. So let's see. Wow, that's beautiful. I mean, I think, and I go ahead. It's like I saw that on Whitman Slampler one time, and it, <laughs> it, it, that's just that is inspirational. A, a Whitman Sampler or a Hallmark card? It might have been both. It you might have been. It might have been a T-shirt I saw on Etsy. So we got we got the Mockier Bay. I, I believe this is all bourbon cask aged usually. Uh, yes, I think Mockier Bay is all bourbon cask. Okay. No wine cask. No anything it's, weird. The color is 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 again. I can smell it. Golden from here. Actually, you know, it's funny because when I just picked it up and did that little swirl, some uh, it wafted. It's there's wafting going on. Wow. I'm gonna. This is. Oh. This I is smell, amazing. I smell like sweetness too. Sweet peat. Oh my gosh. It smells. I'm excited. I am. I'm excited. Oh my god. Okay. I'm so excited. I, am, I just can't I, hide it. I am literally about 18 inches away, my nose to the top of that glass, and I could smell it from here. Yep. And and I'm not saying that in a bad way. No. And what I'm I just saying. did as an experiment, see my hand right on the top of that glass? Uh, yes. I wafted, wafted. the top Waft. towards see, me, would... and boom, it's in my face. By the way, see, I'm not going to do that because you know what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I'm going to hit the top of the glass. I'm going to knock it over. I'm going to make a mess. And then I'm going to be licking whiskey off the table. So, so it's like Tuesday. That. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to give it a try, though. I'm going, to, I'm going to see if my depth perception is good. All right, I'm good. I didn't do it. Yay. Okay, anyway. Uh, yes, I could smell that. I could smell that. I'm going to go in. Look at the color. It is really just shimmery golden, light golden color. Pale gold. Pale gold. It's, it's mm, very pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. It's really, really nice. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I can only oh. imagine. Are you oh. smelling? Oh. All right. I'll smell too. Oh. Stop your oh. stop your groaning over there. I'm sorry. Wow. That smells delightful. Now, Positively I delightful. I don't know that I would necessarily guess 58.6. No, no, not at all. No. But again, I think we're gonna get they're gonna they're gonna rope a dope these mopes. Or these well, dopes. The, we're the mopes to be doped. Mopes, dopes, whatever. That smell is just delightful. You know, though, I, I'm getting like I'm getting a good bit of vapors on this one, though. Not bad. Mm. Not like no. not like I get alcohol. I still get all that smoke, but it's definitely a little bit of singeing going on. Singe. A little bit. Yeah, it, it's a, it's much less than I expected. It smells good, though. It does. It's subtle, not like Speyside, and it's, but it's not big like Lafroig. It's somewhere in between. 
smell wise, I'm getting, you know, I'm I'm getting the smoke. Again, it's but it's not like you said, like the Lafroy, which no. is a lot more iodine and C and yeah. you know, not, real briny. It's, it's not, not like that. Bag. It's it's more I if I had to throw a comparison name, it's more Brooklotti. Mm. It's more subtle. Okay. It's not hit you over the head. No. It's no, no, no. uh maybe even Buna Habanish. Um it's definitely not Lafroy, Lagavulin, or Ardbeg in terms of Isla's. But it's Petey. Oh, it's Petey. Oh, it's Petey. It is Petey. But I'm getting, I'm getting vanilla. I'm getting, I'm getting some vanilla on this. A little sugar, like a little powdered sugar kind of donut kind of thing. It's a little bit of nuttiness to it. Mm, you're nutty. Well, hey, I'm uh, more zany than nutty, but hey. Or as my people call you, pazzo. Pazzo. Uh, not to be confused with pizza. Oh, pizza. Mm, Wouldn't pizza. this be good with pizza? Uh, you know it would. A coal-fired pizza. You know, there's a place on Isla. Pete. Pizza. Pizzeria. Pete. Pizzeria. Pizza. Pete. Pizza. Very good pizza. Very nice. And Very you nice. can get whiskey there. Those are the primary things I'm getting here is, is a little bit of smoke, vanilla, a little sugar. But now there's something else coming through. There's something else coming through. Maybe. Oh, you know, if you tilt your head the wrong way. Ooh. You know, I'm not, I'm still not getting no? a huge alcohol bomb. At 58.6, I kind of figured I would, but not. I haven't got that yet. But then again, my my, my inner noses uh, are. You have more than one nose? I, I do. And they're just singed after all these years. No, it's mm. it's great. Okay, I'm going in. Yep, I'll join you. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's good. Sweet. That is very sweet. It's a lot sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Hotter than I expected, too. It's like a smoky cream donut. Huh. That's interesting. Oh. That it is, is delicious. That's that so delicious. sweet. You know, it almost has like a delicate nature to it. Because it it's not like it's not, it's not like abrasive. It's not abrasive is a great word. It's not abrasive at all. It's very going back to what you said earlier, there's a little bit of an elegance to it. Hmm. I can tell you when we were there with the single net cast nation boys. Single you know, net? Single net, single cast, whatever the hell they're called. Ah, whatever. They're single. When we were at Kilhoman, we got to taste the new make, and it was florally and and sweet and smooth and oh. and I guess you could say elegant. And you can see that. I'm assuming their that recipe is the same. Five years later, it's the same. You can see it in this that the sweetness, just... the sweetness to new make, and you see that in here too. Always just kind of blows me away how sweet it is. This is, I, I mean, I've had a couple of Kilhomans over the last couple of months. This is very different than the other ones. Like I had, we had the uh, STR. Thing is, I think I've yeah. had, um, I've been having a lot of wine finish ones. This is kind of neat because I don't, you know, you don't, you don't really get, I don't have the bourbon one as much. What do you mean? Oh, you, you don't know, normally have it. You mean? I, I, have, I mean, I haven't had that in a while. I haven't had Macchio Bay in a while. And this is this is different. This is definitely a good bit sweeter. But this is really, really, really nice. So the two uh, that I know of on, on the bourbon side that I remember mm. <clears throat> is this one, the Macchio Bay. And then, and then the, the, orig vintage? the original cast drink, I think is what they call it. And okay. uh, which I think I have a bottle of that somewhere. And uh, those are the two main bourbon casks and everything else is wine finishes or sherry which, which are very good i like their yeah. wine finish ones but I'm, because i mean their wine finish ones i get more like barbecue yeah it's interesting I, what the what the wine and the peat do together yeah right? they go really nice together yeah they go really, this is just different this is this is just this is almost like you get you know i can't compare it to lafroy because it still doesn't have that but like yeah. you know the regular lafroy that's just bourbon cast finish yeah you know, or even like the quarter cask. Yep. It's more along those lines, but not, again, not as briny and and 
different kind of PD, that maritime PD. All right, so the, the dryness is interesting to me. I don't find it super dry, though. I don't find it as dry uh, as the ones that are like wine cast finish. Or no, not but, wine, but, but sherry and all that. I, it reminded me of Laphroaig dryness. Oh, not the peat part, but the dryness part. That's delicious. That is really delicious. I'm enjoying that. How can you not? It's delicious. Oh, I know. It's, it's, it's just good. The, it's just the, really, really good. The sweetness thing is just always blows me away. Mm -hmm. on high strength heavily peated whiskeys See, I, I, think that I love it i always find sweet like on 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 the on the uh, isla whiskeys though i always like yeah. once you get past it i agree and i think a lot of people are too put off by the smoke to get beyond that mm -hmm. i think if they did and had a little more time with it but on the flip side if everybody liked this stuff it'd really get expensive so you know what whatever well, Find something else to drink, folks. That's right. Leave get, this for us. Go get Highland Park. Yes. Go get yourself. Go go have a nice glass of bourbon. This is leave, really amazing. Leave our Pete alone. This is leave fantastic. our Pete alone. That's exactly leave what my Pete license alone. plate says. For Pete's my sake. My frame. For Pete's sake, leave my Pete alone. There you are, sir. I'm gonna say I really really like this. I put it up there with plus. the last couple I tried. Oh, absolutely. Can I give it a I'm grade? Going, is it too early? No, not at all. I because we're all already. Grades. I haven't got the whole grades in for the whole class. No. I the of, it's not near the end of the semester, but I'm going to give it an A anyway. And we're Good not class. grading on a curve. No, no, Good no, no, Lord, no, no. Good Lord, no. No, you get what you get, and you, you get don't get you upset. Get. No, sirree. If you don't like it, go to another, another school. That's right. You get upset, and I'm having a drink. So I'm giving this a solid A. This is like a 93, 94. It's just delicious. I'm going to finish, dark, I'm gonna finish this little, little uh, sample we got. You boozer. And I got to thank, by the way, our, our uh, friend at Impex JVS, Elijah. And, is, he, uh, is he Whiskey Jedi on Instagram? He is Whiskey Jedi on Instagram. Whiskey and, and Jedi. He is, uh, you know, the force he is strong is, with him. He, it is. But he is, uh, he is the man down in the, uh, behind the orange curtain here in Southern Fantastic. California, running, awesome. pushing, pushing the JVS Impex product around. He's just uh, a madman. He's just awesome. Excellent. So, th so thank you, Whiskey Jedi. And thank you uh, to the Impex crew for sending this along to the East Coast as well. And thank you to you, sir, for joining me at Krause Island while I'm at the murder table. It was a spectacular evening. There you are. Cheers. Slancha. <laughs>